Kia Motors India on Friday announced that it has crossed the 1 lakh cumulative sales milestone. With this, the Korean auto manufacturer has become the fastest automaker in India to have reached this target. It did so in just 11 months. Kia had debuted in India back in August 2019. Output of eight core industries contracted by 15% in June on account of decline in production of coal, crude oil, natural gas, steel, cement and electricity. It is the fourth straight monthly contraction according to the data released by the Commerce and Industry Ministry. Reliance Industries Limited Chairman Mukesh Ambani on Friday urged the government to take urgent policy measures to make India 2G free. Feature phones of the 2G era have kept around 30 crore subscribers away from basic internet services when India and other nations are venturing into the 5G era, Ambani said, at the Silver Jubilee event to mark the first mobile phone call made in India. India's fiscal deficit touched a record $88.5 billion in the April to June quarter, 83.2% of the target for the whole of the current fiscal year, reflecting the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on tax collections and as the government front-loaded its spending. The economy is forecast to shrink 5.1% in the current fiscal year and 9.1% under a worst-case scenario. Pharma giants GlaxoSmithKline and Sanofi Pasteur have announced they will supply 100 million doses of its experimental COVID-19 vaccine to the US as governments buy up supplies in hopes something will work. The United States will pay up to 2.1 billion US dollars for development, including clinical trials, manufacturing, scale-up and delivery of its vaccine.